Hey YouTube, Ray again. This time with another video review. We're looking at the Hasbro Limited Edition Seacons gift set. This gift set is of course available on eBay, also at bbts.com, and where I got it at robotkingdom.com. Uh, set retails for $60. I think it's uh, well worth it, in my opinion, as this is the first time this set is released outside of Japan with all members of the Seacons. The set in the 80s wasn't that special, it was just another combiner team, but with the addition of the extra small figure you get a target master weapon. All of the small figures have a robot mode, an animal mode and the gun mode. So that makes it a little bit more special for the combiner because one of these indeed becomes the gun for the big figure. Big figure which is of course Piranicon. In Japan there are a couple uh, different uh, differences with uh, names in this set. In the original cartoon of uh, Master Force where this, uh, yeah, this army, this combining team is featured. This one is uh, called Turtler. Of course here he's called Snap Trap. Then we have here Overbite. Tentacle, Scalor, I do not know the Japanese name for him. Then here is not later, his uh, Japanese name is Lobclaw. And here's Sea Wing, his Japanese name is Kraken. And of course, they form Pranacon, which the Japanese call King Poseidon. It's great that for the first time they've released all these figures as a set. It is only a cool combiner team, but it's also a combiner target master team. So, I suggest you get this set, it's very, very cool. Packaging similar to uh, the MP Starscream uh, box, really. Very cool graphic on the side, showing all the figures on this side, and this is pretty much showing you where everything goes in combined form. Pretty cool. So, let's take a look at each of these figures. And also, it comes with collector cards. This is the one for Prenicon Overbite. Overbite turns into a shark. See the text here, pretty cool. This is the shark mode. He has his gun under here. And this is a quality control issue as it doesn't really plug in that well. Yeah, very crappy. Color difference here with the G1 version. You can see here. This is a, yeah, it's a very light purple pinkish color. On the original D1, this was actually a very nice Decepticon deep purple color. Articulation here, arms can move, can move here at the hip, the knee, and yeah, sort of movement here. All of these small figures come with the stand, as you can see. Foot, there's this piece and the connector piece, pretty cool. Let's take him into his uh, gun mode. And maybe I don't transform these like the instructions uh, tell us to do. I know I just like to do it my way. And this plugs in here. And that's pretty much the gun. And in the cartoon, Overbite pretty much always becomes the gun for uh, King Poseidon slash Pranicon. Take him off his stand and take him to robot mode. You can remove these claws by the way if you don't like them uh, on the figure in his robot mode, but yeah, I just leave them on. There we go. Like that. So that's basically his uh, robot mode. Tentacle. Tentacle turns into an octopus. He's uh, yeah the weirdest of the bunch, I think. And uh, yeah, it's not necessarily bad, but I'm yeah not a fan of him. As you can see him here. That detail is very very nice. Very cool colors. Very nice uh, color scheme. Take him off the stand. Like so. He's uh, 
yeah, if you want to have them standing on this thing properly, you have to detach this and to use this to connect him. Otherwise, you have them laying like this, which is yeah, kind of silly. This weapon mode. Take these off. Slide this out. Move this out. And this is kind of quality control issue as well. This was very very tight. I had to use. Uh, screwdriver to loosen it up and uh, yeah it's fine now but yeah I shouldn't have to do that in my opinion this is used to connect it to uh, the base you just saw I'm not gonna do it because of time restraints and uh, this will connect together like so and then plugs in here to form the gun mode yeah it's pretty cool you can leave it like this for this uh, road mode but I like to uh, detach them That's really much the robot mode. You can give him his guns. Like so. And there we have him in his uh, robot mode. Pretty cool. I like the, the color scheme on this one. Very nice. Up next is Scalor. Scalor turns into a seal again. I also thought he was a Prana, but well, if Hasbro say so, uh, yeah, it's a seal again. Very nice looking. Jaw opens up, yeah, not very far. Arms move, he moves here and also here. Very cool. I, I like this. I like this figure. After overbite, this is definitely my uh, my favorite. Pretty cool. Take him to his uh, gun mode. Take these off. Flip this down. Take these to the back. Like to move this up a bit. Pull out head like that. Move it like this. Then we take these guns. Let me see. Plug them together and put it in there. That's pretty much his gun mode. Looks nice, very cool. Take him off the base and uh, quickly show his robot mode. Move this down, move this up, take the hands out, and you can of course plug the weapons in. Naughty later is up next, called Lobclaw in the Japanese continuity, easy crap. Very nice figure as well. This was uh, the figure that was released outside of Japan in the 80s. So very cool that he's released finally. His uh, base isn't that great for him. Would have been nice if his, uh, his foot was a bit bigger for this uh, figure. He has the gun here which is kind of stupid. It's in his uh, beak. What I like to do is just take the back here. Just slide it out and move it up and then put the gun in there I think that looks a lot better than having it in his uh, beak well I'm gonna take him to his uh, gun mode just gonna remove it from the base of course you can attach it uh, to the base in his gun form but uh, oh well his gun mode is uh, it's kind of weak it's not that special really and you can. That's pretty much uh, all it does. That that's his gun mode. It's uh, it's not that impressive. Suppose you can also use uh, the head for the front, but yeah, whatever. Let's take this road mode. You take this piece, flip it down, make sure the claws go backwards like that, and make sure that when these go back, the claws actually fall in them so you can move this further back arms go forward a bit and then you can pluck the gun in one of his hands oh let me okay there we go very small figure just like the others these are uh, yeah smaller than scout size but well what can you do it's the one very nice figure nonetheless
sea wing. Sea wing is called Kraken in Japanese. Sea wing is a manta ray. Very cool looking. It's uh, yeah, another weird sea creature because he has feet, but well, he doesn't have a lot of articulation. There's uh, some movement in the legs, and you can open up his jaw, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take him off his stand because it's easier that way to transform it. There we go. And they are very tight to stand, by the way. Move these back like so. Back like so. Flip it out and move back like so. You can leave the wings like this or move it up, whatever you like. The guns, yeah, sure to plug together, but it's very hard to uh, to get them off each other again. And just. See how I can do it here. There we go. And it plugs in here, and then that's the gun. Um, not the best looking gun in the set, but oh well. Let's uh, take him to his road mode. Let's go down again, like so. This goes to the back. Tuck it between the wings if it wants to. There we go. Move this down. And then you can uh, use this as one gun or you can disconnect it. It's very hard to disconnect like I said, so just put it in like this. See if it has a big two-barreled gun, which looks very cool.